The First English Actresses, Women and Drama, 1660-1700, by Elizabeth Howe is a meticulously researched and insightful examination of a transformative period in the history of English theatre. Published in 1992, this book delves into the emergence and evolution of female performers in the English Restoration era, offering a comprehensive analysis of their influence on drama, society, and gender dynamics during this pivotal period. How begins her study by setting the historical context? The year 1660 marked the restoration of the monarchy, a period of significant cultural, political, and social change in England. This transition was mirrored in the theatre, with the reopening of the public playhouses and the return of the vibrant theatrical scene that had been suppressed during the interregnum. Women, previously absent from the professional stage, began to make their presence felt, and how chronicles this transformation in a compelling narrative. One of the key strengths of Howe's work is her attention to detail. She has scoured a vast array of historical records, including playbills, diaries, correspondence, and legal documents, to piece together a comprehensive picture of the lives and careers of these pioneering actresses. Her meticulous research unveils not only the challenges and opportunities these women faced but also their influence on the development of dramatic art. Through close analysis, how highlights the women's journeys, from their early careers to their experiences within the theater and their interactions with audiences and fellow actors. This depth of research allows readers to grasp the complex reality of these actresses' lives. Throughout the book, how masterfully blends historical context with close readings of plays and performances. She demonstrates how the presence of female performers revolutionized the way female characters were portrayed on stage. The breeches roles were an early innovation in which women dressed as men, challenging conventional notions of gender and offering nuanced portrayals of male and female characters. Howe's discussion of these roles reveals the subtle shifts in societal expectations and gender roles that were occurring. Moreover, the book sheds light on the significant contribution of actresses to the development of the English theatre. These women were not passive participants but active agents in shaping the art form. Howe argues that actresses' agency and innovation played a vital role in the development of comedy, tragedy, and the popular genre of tragicomedy. Their performances, choices, and interpretations had a profound impact on the content and style of the plays they appeared in. How illustrates this through in-depth analysis of specific works and the actresses who performed in them, offering a rich and enlightening discussion. The first English actresses also tackles the challenges these women faced in a male-dominated industry. From public scrutiny to concerns about their moral character, the actresses navigated a complex web of social expectations. How skillfully delves into the controversies and scandals that surrounded these pioneering women, showing how they had to constantly defend their choices and reputations. This aspect of the book underscores the broader societal anxiety surrounding women's presence in the public sphere and the threat they pose to established gender norms. In addition to the historical and theatrical aspects, the book also touches on the broader social implications of these developments. How highlights how the inclusion of women in the theater provided a space for exploring changing notions of femininity and female empowerment. It became a forum for broader discussions about gender and representation, and the book captures the evolving attitudes of the time towards women's participation in public life. In conclusion, the first English actresses, Women and Drama, 1660-1700, by Elizabeth Howe is an outstanding work that brings to life a crucial period in the history of English theatre. Howe's rigorous research and insightful analysis offer a detailed exploration of the lives, contributions, and challenges faced by the first English actresses.
It not only provides a wealth of historical and theatrical knowledge but also enriches our understanding of the evolving role of women in society and the arts. This book is an essential read for anyone interested in theater history, gender studies, or the cultural shifts of the Restoration Era. Elizabeth Howe's contribution to the field is both significant and enduring, making this book a valuable resource for scholars, students, and enthusiasts alike.